Now, Storm Tracker 9 weather with meteorologist Cameron Landfield. Happy Thursday, everybody. We're seeing activity on the radar right now, but not as much as we saw earlier this morning. Did pick up a little bit of lightning. Not the case right now, though. Check it out. It's green out there, which means there is some rainfall falling, especially near Coos Bay. Not so much over Eugene right now, but I'm going to step out and show you the position of our current storm system. There it is. You can see that rotation. That's going to continue to rotate and get a little bit closer for today, and that's going to continuously throw waves of energy into the Pacific Northwest, and that's where the showers come from for today. Yesterday, we were dealing with a lot of instability because of the little sun break, and that brought some warm air down into the surface. But for today, the most part, it's just going to be coming from some of the low pressure waves out there. Now, currently, it's looking like the sun is just starting to rise out over Florence. You can see the low cloud coverage being illuminated, and those low clouds are sticking around all day for today. So it's less unstable out there, but still a lot of instability. It is a lot colder this morning as well, seeing those mid to low 40s. That cold front yesterday certainly did its job. Looking at the storm cast now, 630 in the next 10 minutes does show a particularly strong cell of rain, but potentially moving into Eugene there, which could be a thunderstorm, but it looks like most of the thunderstorm chances do drop off by about 7 a.m. Then pushing forward into 730, another nice wave of rainfall down Newport and Florence inland. We're seeing a similar situation and it looks like it's pretty cold rainfall down towards the south. There is more snowfall for today out over the mountains and 930 does show a bit of a break for most areas, not Corvallis or Newport, but everyone else is going to be dry at that point before our next wave rolls on through here at 1030. Gets a little bit stronger at 1130 as well. And then just for the rest of the day, we have more of these strong cells that develop. So I wouldn't be surprised if we do see a little bit more more rainfall than the models did anticipate. Also coming with that rainfall is more blustery winds for today and you'll see they're a lot more sustained today too. So not as powerful, but they do stick around a little bit longer all the way through to about six o'clock before we start to see the winds dying down. Seven day forecast showing you 51 for today on the coast. Our rise starts tomorrow 56 up to 60 for Tuesday sunshine Sunday through Wednesday. I'm Quad Basin 52 for today up to 59 tomorrow. Rain showers taper off in the afternoon. Then we get into the 60s, into the 70s Tuesday, 72 degrees. Cascade passes, snowfall for the next two days. 36 for today, up to 56 Monday, and then 63 Tuesday. Willamette Valley, it's the same pattern. 51 up to 66, and then 69 on Tuesday. But now it's time.